Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLRVideoShooter.com and today we are going to take a look at the Velo Rig Vision 9 inch HD monitor. So let's check out some specs. This monitor is 9 inches with a resolution of 1024 by 600 and has several inputs including HDMI, AV, S video, VGA, and a headphone jack. There are two options for powering this monitor the MPF770, which is a Sony style battery or just using a AC adapter. Right out of the gate I was impressed with the build quality of this monitor. It feels very sturdy, uh, doesn't feel like it's going to be problematic on various rigs. There's some things I really liked about this monitor, some things that I was less impressed with, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the cons and we'll work our way over to the pros. The first thing that I noticed right away was how reflective the display was. You can use it as a mirror when the display is off and even while it's on it's very distracting. The monitor does come with a shade so that will help kind of knock out the reflections but that's just something to keep in mind depending on the environment you're shooting in. The other thing I noticed was depending on the angle that you looked at the monitor, the brightness and contrast would change drastically. The other thing I noticed about this monitor that was unfortunate was that if you were using it with a camera like the 5D that switches to standard definition upon hitting the record button your image squeezes. Now I have the monitor hooked up to the 5D, cycle the view via the info button, and then I'm gonna hit record and show you what happens. So you can see the image squeezes quite a bit and changes the aspect ratio of the image, which makes it really difficult to monitor and really see what you're getting in the camera. Here's a closer look at that. So here's a look at using the monitor with a 7D and seeing how the view switches when you hit the info button. It's really nice when you turn all the info off, you get a nice large image on your display. And when you hit record, the image doesn't change and you can continue to monitor without any kind of flicker. This monitor doesn't have any kind of focus assist or false color. So if you're looking for features like that, this may not be the monitor for you. So while there are a few things that aren't as desirable with this monitor, there are some things I liked. First off, the size of the monitor. It's really nice to have a larger monitor and see your image much larger. The other thing I really liked about the monitor were all of the port options. There's so many different inputs, so this monitor could be used for a camera, this could be used for a second monitor with a laptop if you're doing editing. Uh, it's just a great, great tool to have in your gear bag. This monitor also had some great accessories that came with it from cables to the sun hood and multiple different inputs for connecting to cameras. You can actually use this to trigger the shutter on your SLR. So all in all, this is a really decent monitor. It gives you a lot of options for connecting to various different devices, has a large screen, and I really think it's suited well for somebody who needs a larger monitor for viewing their image or to show to a client or as a director's monitor. For more reviews and articles, check out DSLRVideoShooter.com and we'll see you guys over there.